welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to put up a quick little video on the things that I purchased from the MAC Cinderella collection. The collection came out today, Friday, March 5th, I think? I can't remember the date. Yeah, so March 5th. So I'm a huge fan of MAC makeup. I have so many lipsticks, as you might be able to see back here. I have eyeshadows, bl so many blushes. Oh my gosh, guys. Blush. Mm. But I am a huge MAC makeup fan, so I was super excited when I heard that they were coming out with the Cinderella collection, so of course I had to jump on it, and I wasn't about to fight people online. So this morning, when it came out, <laughs> I actually planned on just calling the mall closest to me to purchase them over the phone, and nobody was picking up, so I basically panicked and ran out of my house and drove all the way up to the mall, only to find out that the reason they weren't answering is because the mall didn't open until 10, and I thought that they opened at 9. So I sat in the parking lot for 30 minutes and waited for the store to open, and I went in and I got my stuff, and it was super easy. Easy. Not a huge crowd yet, but this stuff will sell out fast. So I'm gonna try to get this video up as soon as possible. Um, hopefully today, the same day that it goes out. So in case you guys are interested, you might want to run out to your local Mac store and pick something up. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the products and packaging and all that good stuff. First, this is what the box looks like. Um, this is just what the product comes in. Just thought I'd show you really quick. I am probably going to keep a couple of these boxes just because they're so stinking pretty. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it. There we go. Um, it does have this like gorgeous pink duochrome to the blue and then it's just got the gold detailing and of course it says Disney Cinderella and guys I'm so excited for this movie to come out. <laughs> Alright so I'm going to go ahead and start with lip products. First I'm going to start with the one product that I'm not wearing on my face today. This is the lipstick um, in Free as a Butterfly. These are a luster finish so they are quite sheer. I'll give you an up close of the packaging really quick. Um, but it's just a really pretty, it's got that same blue with the pink duochrome bullet and the gold detailing. And then of course just, oops, and then just the Cinderella writing on the front. So stinking gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see that, but here's what the color um, looks like. This one is just kind of like a like champagne nude almost. It does have a little bit of shimmer going through it, but nothing much. And when I swatch it, it's honestly almost just, almost non-existent if I can just spit the words out. So that's what this one looks like. It does look a little peachy on my hand. So this is free as a butterfly. So this next color is called Royal Ball, also a luster finish. And this is what I have on my lips underneath one of the glosses that I picked up. This one is just a beautiful, like peachy pink. Like I can see myself wearing this one every single day, but I should probably refrain from doing that because it is limited edition. So this is what Royal Ball looks like. Next, I picked up one of the lip glosses they released. This one is called Happily Ever After, and this is what the packaging looks like on this little guy. So cute. Nice blue cap, Cinderella writing, and the color is gorgeous. Honestly, I'm obsessed. Hopefully the camera will pick it up, but it's just like a gorgeous pink, like just a nude gloss, but it has tons of pink and blue iridescent glitters going through it. So super glittery and shimmery, and I am in love. So I'm going to swatch it for you. Hopefully you guys can see it right there, but um, there's just a ton of glitter going through it you can see a lot of the blue sparkles and there's some pink in there so it's just a gorgeous lip gloss to top off any lip color with so next I picked up the mystery princess beauty powder the packaging on this is stunning it's probably my favorite from the whole collection because it's just a solid top and you get just the full effect the Cinderella packaging is just gorgeous they did such an excellent job with it and honestly the stuff is just like the just like what you wanted as a child like in adult makeup like it's just so cool to have. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's called Mystery Princess. It's just a light kind of shimmery champagne color. Um, tons of glitters going through it. I use this. Today I used it. I tried to first use it as just like a highlighter and it does give your face just this softest like angelic glow to it. It's kind of just really natural and pretty. Um, and then I actually just kind of dusted it all over my face really lightly just to make my skin look dewy and fresh. And then I'll go ahead and swatch it as best I can for you. It's kind of a pain in the butt to swatch, but it's right there in the center of my hand. Just a really nice light glow. So, so pretty on the face. And lastly, I picked up the Stroke of Midnight eyeshadow palette from the collection. Now, there are six shades in here, and five of them are actually permanent. The only one that's limited edition is this one down here. So, I'm gonna give you an up close of what everything looks like. So, here's what the front of the packaging looks like it's just got that magnetic clasp that MAC palettes do. So, it just says Cinderella on the front with MAC. And I honestly really love the packaging of everything in this collection. I like being able to see all the colors, and this palette is so gorgeous. And what's awesome, like about showing you this, and like maybe using it in tutorials is the fact that all of these shades except for one are permanent and honestly I think this one's very dupable. So first I'm going to go through the colors really quick. This one is Vapor. This one's Floof. We have Omega. 
Quarry, Satin Taupe, and Stroke of Midnight. So here are just some quick hand swatches. These first two are going to be kind of hard to see, but we have Vapor, Floof, Omega, Quarry, Satin Taupe, and Stroke of Midnight. So I actually used all of those colors on my eyes today, and I was honestly surprised how much I actually enjoyed Stroke of Midnight, the dark shade. Um, every single color, though, is seriously so beautiful. They're such soft neutrals. And like I said, all but that one Stroke of Midnight shade is permanent, so you can access these colors to create the similar look. But I am seriously obsessed. It's probably going to be the palette I reach for this entire month. It's so pretty. I feel like I could just work it into an everyday look just, I mean, every single day, guys. I am seriously so in love with the colors, and I didn't own any of the other MAC shades, so it was really nice having the palette, like, already put together for you instead of buying all of the singles, because all of their singles are, like, $15, and that palette was only $44, so you do the math, I think I got a deal. But yeah, overall, I am super happy with the collection. I absolutely love all the colors that they came out with. I kind of wish I'd picked up like a pigment or something to get like a nice glitter on my lid. Um, but I might be doing a tutorial on this look, so if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was short and sweet and to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys picked anything up from the Cinderella collection, let me know what you guys thought of it down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! I want this to be you and I forever I know you wanna leave so come on baby be with me so happy